Right, I'm just waiting for someone to come in and give me a uh, check on these mic levels before I start. I want to get everything up and running. We are going to be fixing a Yamaha motherboard. This is the first stream, this is the first time I've tested this out, so I want to get all of these bits right and make sure it's going out. I'm going to try and get the chat working. Okay. Okay, I think that's the chat working. See if I can log in on here, see if there's a so the chat window. Is there a chat? Oh, all of one watching. Right, so I'm going to see if I can get the chat working. I don't know if this, I've enabled it on YouTube. Okay. Chat sounds. Enable live chats. Why is it live chat? Okay. Right, I'm just going to put the screensaver back on while I try and get this chat window loaded.
Right, I should have gone live now. I need to sort that logo out. Okay, hold on. Um, I'm not streaming through the phone, so it's going to make a great first stream, this is. <laughs> it's just me going, oh, I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, I am picking up audio here. It does say it's kicking it out. There's probably going to be a delay. Okay, cool. I want to put the phone down to you and just carry on. Just let me know how it sounds, all right? All right, cheers. Right, I think we're away. So I'm going to start now officially. Uh, this is a Yamaha keyboard motherboard. Uh, the person, I think, dropped it at a gig or something, but the DC, the DC jack input's been bent and it's uh, taken it out of the motherboard. So what I'm going to do is hopefully stick the pads back down and then what we're going to do is probably bridge them to the ground plane or the planes near them and resolder them in. Hopefully that will make a decent connection. I'm just going to wait till uh, Ricky confirms whether the audio is any good. I don't know if anybody else is in chat. I Obviously, I don't think anybody else is going to be listening to this live to start off with, so I'm just going to carry on regardless. Right. Let's get this. Right. Can you see that? There we go. Right. It, it looks... It looks pretty good. Everything's perfect. Okay, so we're just going to carry on. And we'll watch this back later. Like I said, it's just going to be a test. So if there's any problems, leave it. Leave messages in the, the comments and let us know what's gone wrong. And uh, I'll try and sort it out for the next live one. Like I said, this is the first one with all of the setup that we're doing. So uh, this one here, if I tilt this to the side, I don't know if that's in focus for you. I haven't got an autofocus camera, so it's going to be a bit interesting. It's actually in focus for me. I tried buying a capture card, so I had 60 frames a second, and I bought a Black Magic. It was a, the Pro Intensity version. And after fiddling with it for three days, found out that it doesn't actually do 1080p, it only does 1080i, which I barely understand but what I got from it is that I couldn't actually use HDMI. So here we are with the 30 frames, so-called 30 frames a second on the on the USB. Right, I think you can see that here. Right, you can see the pad has come away there. And this pad has actually come away here now. So what that means is it's completely separated from the surrounding area. So we're going to cut back into this and I'm going to cut back into this. Uh, we're going to probably put some epoxy resin under these if I can and uh, see if we can get those pads so to stop moving. So the DC jack feels solid and we'll run some jumpers from there to here. So What we'll do is mix up the epoxy resin first. Um, I'll just use this five minute set stuff, so hopefully we'll be able to do this on live stream. All right, let's see if I can get a do this one. Right, this stuff's fairly nasty, so I'm going to go get some gloves. I was planning on doing a couple of iPhones as well on the live stream, but it's, I think it's 10 o'clock now. Um, I came back to work at about half six. I've been trying to get this to work ever since. So 
small wins. So I'm going to probably just leave it as this one because I am fairly hungry. And then uh, we're going to check the stream. Well, that's how hungry I am. I've got a charge board out to start doing this. That's brilliant. Uh, I don't know how good this audio is going to come through. The setup I've actually got is I've got a couple of phones. Oh, that's actually set on that. That's the live stream. Yeah, we've got a couple of phones set up. A microphone, a Logitech camera. But the, the phones are actually streaming. So they're not that great. So I think I'm going to get a couple more Logic ones or Logitech ones to start off with. And the camera seems like it's trailing as well. But there's a lot of there's a lot of video feed feeds coming in here. We've got five, I think, for the bottom feeds along there. So we've got live readouts, which I don't think I'm going to be using today. But I wanted to get them set up regardless. Okay, so we're going to mix the A and B together. This is like a clear compound. It sets fairly quick, but it doesn't actually harden for 24 hours. But it stinks, it's nasty, but it's strong as hell. Okay, still sounding perfect, looking good. I know I look good. Younger, better looking ginger. Um, if you are still listening, Rick, can you test the chat just so I can see the chat coming through? You should be able to load it on your phone. Right, I think what I might have to do. Right. Right, the camera is a bit wobbly because we've got this on an articulated stand. I am going to bolt it to the wall. It is on a fairly sturdy table, but that should take some of the wobble out of it. Okay, that's actually quite a terrible feed. Never mind. Okay, I think what I'm going to do is clear that solder and try and remove these pads. I thought I could just put the epoxy underneath and get away with it fairly quickly, but I don't think I am. We're going to be doing these live streams fairly regularly, as regularly as, regularly as I can. Uh, probably doing them in the day as well, doing iPhones and motherboards, any of the other weird things that we get in. Hopefully you guys learn a little bit. Or if you've got any devices, you'd be able to send them in to us and we'll be able to get that fixed for you. If you've got any questions, you can leave them in the comments below. Okay, so what I'm going to do on this, I'm just going to clear this pad here. Okay, that pad is completely demolished. Wow. Okay. Take that off. I don't think it's going to offer any structural support anymore. So what we'll probably have to do is epoxy the bottom of these feet in. Hopefully I'll be able to do this in one go. Okay. Right. How's that? Right, so let's zoom out here. Try and keep you guys in focus. I've got a much bigger field of view in my microscope compared to. I'm going to try my best to keep a uh, 
keep an eye on the, the chat and keep an eye on the focus of the camera. Okay, this seems fairly pliable. Do is coat this first and then hopefully clean the top of it. But this port gets quite a lot of use where it's a live gig situation. So he's going to be taking it apart and using it quite a lot. So we need to make sure that that's going to stick. At the same time, I still need to run the cables. I still need to be able to solder. What I'm going to probably do is I thought I could just save these pads, but you can see here, these pads um, are completely shot away. So what I'm going to do is just epoxy these feet in. And then we're going to scrape away the top of this here. And I'm going to run some jumpers to there. And I'm going to run some jumpers from there to here. So while that's setting, I'm going to make sure that, that those feet are in there nice. What we're going to do is scrape into this first layer of the board. So. And then we're just going to run a lead and that should give us the continuity we need. Okay, that's in focus for you, but not in focus for me. Uh, the problem with this first one is this board's uneven on the other side. It's actually got connections that I can't take off. So normally we'd have a flat board on the table and I'd be able to keep it in focus. I think what I'm going to do is probably use a smaller blade here. so much of a point aspect. Get a lower angle. What I'm going to do here is clear a bit of space here and then we'll tin it up and we'll just run a wire from there to the top one. It's going to be a fairly short stream tonight. I just want to get it tested, make sure everything's running, make sure the audio sounds good. See, this stuff here is just oh, I've gone too far on that one. You can see it's really thin. sure is this second layer here that I've gone into isn't hasn't got any continuity to ground. You can hear you can see how thin those layers are. Right, let's ground on this. It looks like this pad here is ground. So if I touch that, just get that in focus for you. I want to make sure that, yeah, so I haven't got any continuity there. Okay, those two pads are the same, so what I probably could do is just run a jumper from here to there. And then it's this one here, so what I'll probably do is just end up clearing this up. 
Let's have a look at this board. Okay, make sure that is actually what it says it is. Okay. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, I just think these two ground planes are separated. What we'll probably do is just run a jumper from there to there. I don't know if you can see. Nope, not in view. Perfect. Yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to seal this here. Should have probably tested this first, but it is getting late. We're going to just run a jumper from that one to that one, and then I'm going to work on this one down here. So we only actually have to work on one. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to see if I can run a jumper from anywhere else rather than cutting into this board. Probably should have thought about that first. Let's clear that up, seal that. I've got five minutes to wait for this, so I might actually take a quick look at that iPhone. It's been booked in for no image. Uh, quite often, though, no image turns out actually to be something else. So. Like no backlight or just dead phone. Wow. Okay, put a little bit too much on there. What do we have? You know what? I'm just going to leave that. Uh, this stuff here is conformal coating. Use it to seal traces and isolate the board. Let's plug this in over here. It's quite important to use a shielded UV light. I see a lot of people online with these pens, these powerful pens, but if you're staring through a microscope into that concentrated UV, it's not great. Right, we'll leave that on there for a sec. I only had a quick look at this Yamaha earlier and I thought, oh, it's perfect for the start of a live stream. I thought we can uh, quickly scrape away at the tracks there. So I'd actually thought about it a bit clearer. I could have just run both jumpers and not actually cut into it. and Probably a five minute job with the epoxy resin as well. But it should be a good a good fix, you know, once those tracks have been retracked, it should be as good as it was before. It's going to save them buying a new board from Yamaha because obviously you can't just fix the DC. It's not making a connection to the board anymore. Right, what I'm going to do is clear this up a bit. It's booming in chat. I think I am going to leave that one actually because I want to do a proper live stream on that. I'm not going to get these confused. Right. In fact, actually, I can cut some junk off. 
cables while we wait. So what I'm going to do is just tin some cable here. Uh, this stuff here is actually power cable, so it should be good. Okay. We need 12 volts, so this cable here should be good enough for that. I don't often do a lot of repairs like this, but we occasionally do get um, some random things brought into us from Henry Hoover's to chocolate fountains and various other things. going to tin some of this wire. Yeah. I'll take these gloves off now. I know people will probably troll me for that but there we go. Right, twist this up. I'm going to tin it up, get some flux on it. the lead free stuff on this it makes a stronger joint uh, one of the things I do need to sort out for the live streams is the smoke extractor probably get trolled for that too as well right. I think what we'll do is cut these down to shape and as soon as that UV is good I'm going to jump them test the continuity and then let the epoxy resin set overnight and probably call it it for a night. Right, in fact, let's not use that. Where's my snips gone? I think the apprentice has had my snips. Okie dokie. That's one micro jump. Huh? Well, not so micro, not compared to what I'm used to anyway. Let's have a look at that now. Well, that's pretty, uh, it's pretty set. in the tops of these. some of that epoxy out of the way. Turn this one over here. And probably, I think we're going to this one here. Okay, let's get this first jumper in. 
see what size we're at. I had hoped to get this stream on a lot earlier. It's not great when you haven't eaten. It's not getting the shakes and stuff. It's not good. Okay, let's run this one to here. And then that should be it. And to be honest, I should have planned it a little bit better. I had hoped, though, to... Uh, get the stream up and running and test a few features first and I think then I probably would have uh, planned it a little bit better but hey ho right, I'm just going to trim this up and mess my snips up I'm going to need a new pair of those. Alright, there we go. Alright, let's test the continuity on this. Alright, there we go. Right, first. Let's move this out of the way. I don't know if you can hear my belly. <laughs> okay, that's that pin's working. Okay, and now let's test the center pin. Okay, center pin's working. Let's see if it jumps. And it jumps. So I'm pretty confident that's going to work. And it's quite a large keyboard. I'm not going to be able to show you it working. But the initial problem was. see this get it over here yeah the initial problem was is the cable had got in there uh, it'd been yanked up and then that's pulled these two pads clean out the board so we've taken the pad off um, we've run a jumper from there to there because those are both ground from what i can tell this center pins the power connection uh, it's got quite a large pad area here so uh, let's get this back over here yeah, focus a bit there we go. Yeah, you can see it's got quite a large pad area over here. So we've just jumped that to that. So theoretically, the, the actual socket itself is good. Once this epoxy resin's properly hardened, I mean, it's hard now. It's after five minutes, but it's fully cured after 24 hours, I think. So once that's set, I'll come back tomorrow and I'll test it with the DC jack to see if it's, you know, wobbly or not. But that there should act as a sort of, temporary solder joint you know to give it that structural integrity um, and then these here will allow the power to transfer through and it should be fine I shouldn't think there's any other problems with that so what I'm going to do is end that stream here and uh, come up with some uh, come up with some better planned streams I think right catch you later